Yo, 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 it's Bernard, a.k.a. the Scarlet Spider. And this is Samir, the King in Black. And we are the Angry Blurs podcast. Well, the nerds are black and the nerds are angry. Why in the fuck is there a reverb? There is the air purifier on. No, like I'm echoing. Lala? I don't hear anything. I don't know what it is. I thought maybe it was coming through the speakers as well as the headphones, but I don't know. All right, so I'm pulling up my news. All right, so um, CinemaCon is going on this week, guys. This echo is annoying. So there's going to be some stuff we're going to talk about that has already come out, and we're going to talk about some of it next week. All right. Okay. Okay. So, something that has been a long time coming. Black Mirror Season 6. Dang, yeah, it's been a while. Has been announced. All right. And the cast is very star-studded. Oh, my God. What's going on with this damn mic? Something's giving me a reverb. All right. So, here's a list of some of the cast members. Aaron Paul, Anjana Vassan, Annie Murphy, Auden Annie Thornton, Murphy? Auden. I'm sorry, Annie. A-N-N-I-E. Oh. Is she, where is she from? I don't know. I'm just reading this off of Variety. Uh, ben Barnes, I believe. Dang, ben where he Barnes been at? Was uh, in the Punisher. He was Jigsaw. Oh, man. so he's not just Prince Caspian. You literally did this when the Punisher was on Netflix. I probably did. No, you definitely did. All right, um, Clara Rugard. Danielle Porton, Danny Ramirez, uh, Hamish Patel, John Hanna, Josh Hartman, Kate Mara, Michael Sarah, Monica Dolan, Mahala Herrand, uh, Papa Isidiu, Rob Delaney, Rory Culkin, Culkin Sama Hayek, uh, Samuel Blinken, and Zazie Bees. Okay, why did you say her name like that? It's the echo. It's fucking me up. Zazzy Beats. All right. But yeah, so it will be coming, I believe, this summer. Yeah. So no word on how many episodes it is just yet. But yeah, I can't wait. You? Uh, I'm marginally excited. Because it's been, what, three years? Something like that. Uh, yeah, because it was Bandersnatch and season five, which was three episodes. Bandersnatch. Dang, that was a long time ago. Yeah, I still didn't get all the other endings. But yeah, so be on the lookout for Black Mirror season six. Season six, guys. This echo is really checking me up. <laughs> All right. What do you got? Okay, let's jump right into the controversy that is Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores. Now, I did give a uh, review of the DLC last week, but now I want to talk about the review bombing that's been going on all this week on on this particular um, uh, DLC. <laughs> Basically, people are butthurt over the addition of of uh, uh, Seika, uh, who is a possible love interest for Aloy. Story, spoiler alert, by the way, uh, she's queer. I mean, it seems pretty obvious to the even in the first game, but yeah, yeah she's not queer. really. I mean, she was. I don't know. It, it, it was. It seemed pretty obvious, but anyways, 
uh, if it ain't, if it wasn't obvious then, it's definitely obvious now. So um, the it so a Metacritic, it was pretty much review bombed all the way down to like a two, and it has since risen up to a four, but it's that's still pretty abysmal. So uh, it's actually it's actually prompted um, Metacritic to come out and say something. Um, let me actually pull up what they said. It was uh, it was it was so. It, the uh, actual article um, basically pointed out a couple of things like inclusivity and um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, so they basically the gist of it was basically they're going to come out and they're going to start moderating their reviews more to stop this from happening because this isn't the first time this has happened. Yeah, it's like we'll what the seventh. This is past. Probably up like Look, thirty. A good Probably way to have been going on since like twenty twenty. God damn it. Yeah, a good way for this to 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 stop is first off verify purchases. All right, verify they actually purchased the game, and then they can go ahead and and, and give a review. Because it's like if if they're going to spend twenty dollars on this DLC just to review bomb it. I mean, at this point, what what are you doing with your life, right? Also. The, um, also, uh, the mods were going through the reviews and removing the ones that were blatantly homophobic, or the ones that were even mo- like there's like um, there's a couple of them. Uh, for instance, they said uh, our team our team reviews each and every report of reviews, including ones that are not limited to racism, sexism, homophobia, uh, and insults to other users, etc. Blah blah, and. Um, there were they quoted a bunch of uh reviews in the in the uh in the uh article like for instance uh there was one one said aloy lesbian what are you doing sony and gorilla really or stop doing it with your characters you know reads one review another is stop using those fracking woke agendas upon our upon gamers i mean i don't know if just existing and being queer is a woke agenda, but you know we're not going to go. We're not going to open that can of worms. Uh, we only want the game. Don't shove your politics. Don't not to be shoved with politics or gay. That's just oh god. That just breathes conservatism and uh, toxic masculinity. Uh, it's just it, it goes on from there. Um, but yeah, fandom basically. And they went on to say fandom is a place for belonging for all fans, and we take on. We, we take online trust and safety very seriously across all our sites, and they're going to go forward and try to, you know, mitigate this. I don't know. I just think this is one part hilarious, two parts just downright. It's lame. I, to be honest, I don't think this is going to hurt the game sales at all. It's, it's probably sold pretty well. It, I mean, who goes into Metacritic and actually looks at these user reviews anyways? You do. No, I look at uh, critic reviews, the other side. the crit- This thing has a... Um, what does it have right now? Um, I'm going to look it up in, in a second. Let me see. Uh, 82. 82 on the critic side. The people who actually tried to at least be objective. There may be some homophobic critics in here. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But at least they can hide it better. And ultimately, it has an 82 out of 100 an aggregate score. Whereas the user score is a 4.1 right now. So, no. This other side here, it's just, no. I like how you said that the critics try to be objective, despite the I fact mean, that I told you there was a quote unquote game critic who didn't even play Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah, and reviewed it. Yeah, but how how often does that happen? And that's one person. I don't follow one critic. I All right. So let's let's say for instance, out of this out of this hundred out of this a uh, 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 score a uh, hundred out of this aggregate score of a hundred to one, there may be some bias in here. Maybe a lot of bias actually in here, good and bad. You know, there is such thing as good bias. Uh, the uh, the crux of it is though that it, it averaged out to eighty two. So that's a little more reasonable than a bunch of yahoos just you know view bombing a perfectly good piece of media. Because they yeah. don't like that, you know, same sex people want to kiss the other same sex, you know. Oh yeah, then when they would lose their shit at the concert I went to this past weekend. 
Oh, they, they, how did that go? We're not, yeah, we're not a music podcast, but we'll go ahead and divert to... Bro, we weekend. talk about music every now and then. Uh, we have arguments about some... Anyways, go ahead. Do you think? Do you think? I'm All here. Right, I'm so here, I'm yeah. here. I went to go see one of my favorite artists for the past 27 years. Yeah, it's been... I mean, when you start listening to him, you were what, 14? When I was nine, bitch. Nine? What nine-year-old listened to Sam's Garden? Heard it on the radio. I wanna walk with you. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Can't even sing the same damn song right. <laughs> so yeah, I went to go see Darren Hayes in uh, DC. I made a few new friends. Uh, debated with some people over like, what's a better beast? This fucking echo. What's a better beast side? <laughs> and um. So yeah, I got the VIP package. I didn't get the ultimate VIP because Eventbrite kept crashing, and I um, I couldn't get it. So basically, ultimate VIP was you get to take a photo with Darren. So you didn't get to do that. But so yeah, VIP was you got to go to sound check. Uh, you got to be a part of Q&A, which pissed me off because I thought it was going to be a traditional Q&A with somebody with a microphone on the crowd asking questions, but the questions had to be submitted via email. The email went to my spam folder. Yeah, that spam folder. Yeah. But yeah, so I was there at six and I for about six hours. So yeah, sounds checks started at 4.30. Concert ended around 10.30ish. I also got a nice uh, hot pink. Did you consider this hot pink? Hot pink. I haven't seen it yet. I know. I can't. I can break. I know the light. Well, it's like a hot pink keychain. It's not that important. It will say it's hot pink. I believe you. I got a nice little tumbler. And is it I, double wall? Is it double wall? Uh, I think it is. Yeah. It's a nice double wall insulated tumbler. Did you did your poster make it home? Okay. Yeah, it's actually right here on the table. I'll go grab <laughs> it real quick. I had to um flatten it out with some books and the DeLoreans. Yeah, so, if you get a friend, they'll probably flatten it out for you too. I mean right. you, you know that. Yeah, you're talking to someone who spent like almost two hundred dollars getting this Ellie Goulding poster. I, I spent I spent more than that getting those those prints. You got a so. bigger one. Yeah. So yeah, here's the poster. Not bad. Pretty cool. And I bought two shirts. I'll send you the photo. I got a black tour shirt and well, the black shirt has all the tour dates on it. And I bought a teal shirt. And I am also getting a signed lithograph with my name on it. So that was actually, well, I think my name is gonna be on it. I don't know. I know it's getting signed, so I'm definitely getting that frame. But yeah, so I had fun. Uh, my only downside was I was in the... I like the teal one. Yeah, I had to get... I mean, he had four shirts uh, and a pillowcase. A body pillowcase? Like it's a full body pillow? Not a full body, not a... A regular pillowcase. Oh, maybe you wanted to maybe you wanted to sleep with Darren. I didn't buy it. Oh, that's a thing because Savage Gardens fan club used to actually have pillowcases, but not body pillowcases. No, but yeah, man. Like I said, my only downside was I was literally in the second row to the right next to a speaker. So all Sunday I had a migraine. 
I mean, okay, I didn't, I didn't make, I made the same mistake when I last concert I went to. I know earplugs. And, uh, earplugs. The next time I go to concert, earplugs. You still hear the music, you enjoy everything, but your your eardrums aren't busted. Yeah. And like, it's a, it, those those are a must if you are a, a chronic concert. Player. <laughs> like, there's some people that go to concerts like eight times out of the year. Like, they're always at a concert, so you need earplugs. Yeah, uh, I haven't been to a concert since 2018. When I saw Kid Cudi, was it Cudi? Was he the Cudi or Craig David? No, Cudi, because Cudi was that the any other year, end of 2018. But yeah, so I sung every word. My I lost my voice for like two days. Like some dude was like, "You're really a fan?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "How'd you become a fan?" And um, he was like. I used to actually tease my sister <laughs> for listening to Savage Garden. And he was like, he got into it uh, later in, as he became an adult. It was like, these aren't just the, bas- the basic bubblegum pop songs. They actually have a lot of depth and, to them and everything. Like, one of my favorite songs from Affirmation is a song called Two Beds in a Coffee Machine. And he actually told us the inspiration behind the song. His mother was beaten up by his stepfather on their wedding night. Jeez. Yeah. Got very dark. Very dark. Yeah. But yeah, guys. So listen to them. You might like some of his music. I don't know. Beggars can't be choosers, but I'm not begging. All right, let me go ahead and pull up a story. That wasn't a story. Uh, I mean, you can go again if you want. Okay, I'm gonna go into some more controversy. Let's get let's spill the tea. Uh, so, uh, Star Wars uh, Jedi Survivor comes out tomorrow. Uh, you can preload it now uh, if you some so inclined. Yeah, Star Wars Jedi Survivor was released on Friday. Episode drops Sunday. Okay. Oh, so, I'm sorry. So, it will be released Friday. We will post this whenever. So, Friday... Let me get a date so that we put our guests on my back. Uh, Friday 28th. Uh, April 28th. There we go. So It's like you uh, just did the same thing and reworded it. Yeah, I did. Because I, I'm, 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 I live in the now, Bernard. Anyways, so... Yeah, but um, n- your, your now is going to be the past. Yeah, and we'll just have to get back to the future. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. All right, you hold me up. You hold me up. All right, so the um, so it, the game looks amazing. Uh, everything's been improved. Uh, story, uh, combat. Combat's more or less the same, but it's still a, a double down on it. It looks really good. Uh, customization in, in terms of cosmetics. Uh, Cal is not obsessed with ponchos for some reason anymore. You can customize his hair, clothing, lightsaber, what have you. Um, he has more stances now. He, uh, and BD1 has um, a lot more customization also. So all in all, the game has been improved exponentially. I'll give a, a more in-depth review when I get, maybe when I play it. I'm going to get to that. The problem is across I won't play all, it for like five months. Across all platforms. Yeah, I still have to beat Dead Space. Dear God, you, what, what are you doing with your life? Across Is all he? platforms, the game is suffering from severe... Um, performance issues and frame rate drops, specifically on the PC version. Mm. So uh, th- let's let's go to the PS5. PS5 version uh, on the on the quality mode, it's not hitting 30 frames consistently. It's a lot of drops in busier areas, and on the performance mode in the 1440p um, uh, version, it's struggling to maintain 60s, dropping to 30 or lower, and uh, uh, sporadically. And in the Xbox version, uh, there's a lot of artifacting and artifacting and um, other graphical glitches, as well as um, frame rate drops at, on there, too. And then the PC version, uh, you, you can have I'm legitimately a 49, RTX 4090, which is the fastest card on the planet right now, uh, is being, is, is basically uh, still not, it, it can't, it can barely maintain 40 frames per second, there is a consistent underutilization of um, 
the CPU on this game. So the, uh, they, they coded this game. They, they optimized the hell out of this game. It's terrible. Uh, so the CPU is bottlenecking the heck out of the GPU. You can get the top-notch GP, uh, CPU on the market right now for gaming, and it will still be bottlenecked because it's, the game doesn't utilize all the cores of your CPU currently. So you're just going to have a bad time no matter what hardware you have. So it's just uh, the worst. Uh, EA actually re- released a um, a statement today. Statement? Yeah, statement. They came out and said some stuff. And basically, they um, they just said that, hey, uh, we're happy that everyone's excited about the game. We're, we're excited to bring this game to you, blah, blah, blah. Corporate platitudes, corporate platitudes. Uh, we will be releasing a day one patch that will hopefully fix a number of issues. And then we will also release pa- uh, 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 more patches going forward. In the subsequent weeks, so basically, I don't think that day one pass is going is going to fix everything, and it's going to be a mess still. And uh, they're going to just, bro. You you got to remember the game that developer, I mean not developers, reviewers are playing. Is still yes, it's a pre, it's a pre patch, but for one patch, that patch would have to be like eight gigs. It Uh, might be. Days Gone yeah. had like a 10 gig patch when the day one dropped. Yeah, that game's still boring. All right. That's anyway. why I told you there was like no point in talking about this because it's, you know, it's going to be fixed. It's not going to be fixed. I guarantee you. Bro, you ain't want to bet me $100 by growing hair on your head. Um, I don't gamble. Nah, he don't gamble. Ain't that I head. don't gamble, period. It's against my religion. Mm hmm. A lot of things against your religion that you do. But that's I don't know what you're talking about. No, that's not true. That's not true. What are you talking about? No, that's not true at all. Don't be lying on here. Why are you lying? Ain't nobody lying. All right, next story. <laughs> the king of pivots, huh? Pivot. All right. So. <sighs> I don't know how you feel about this movie, but I know how you feel about the individual. So this is a bit of news that came out of CinemaCon on Friday. There is a sequel to Dodgeball coming. Um, Hmm. In the worst, with Vince Vaughn possibly returning. (laughs) I mean, I don't know if he's still a trumper. So you just can't enjoy a movie just because of people's political views? Um, If people are going to drop Jonathan Major... For what he did, a, I can definitely... A, a potential assault is one thing. They're, I don't know. they're not equal. At the risk of, 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 of alienating... We're not going to alienate anybody. At the, but at the, in any case, no, I'm sorry. They're not equal. Yeah, because you know, hurting someone is obviously bad. Yeah. Yes. yes. But I'm sorry. But signing on for all this, all this nonsense on, on the right that's been going on... I mean, Florida particularly... All right, don't say gay bill. Uh, the per, the the her uh, the prosecu- persecution of trans the trans community, all that stuff, and you're still trying to vote red. It says a lot about you. That's all I'm saying. Don't forget the CRT crusade. This whole campaign on wokeism can't t- can't say what wokeism is because you don't know what it is. But if you do know what it is, it's still bad. Why would you be anti woke? Bond lives in Florida. I don't think does he? No, he doesn't. I said I don't think he does. You just went yeah, straight he, to Florida. No, because that's that's where that's where we live, and that's where that's been going on. But that's all the right in this state. There's other states like Tennessee, uh, South Carolina, all of them out of pocket. Texas, all of them are out of pocket with their with the with the right wing over there. They suck. Okay, so if you're voting red in those states, what are you doing with your life? Some people vote for tax reasons, like I told you that. But yeah, I know. So you're morally bankrupt, money bankrupt screws. Then, so you don't care about that other stuff. You don't want to care about your pocket. Good job. Okay, so that's what Vince Vaughn is. He's a morally bankrupt uh, uh, money monger. I just asked you if you were going to watch the movie and you just went on your whole and If it's head. If it's funny, if it's funny, I might watch it. I don't know. But Vince Vaughn does something. Damn. I asked you a question and you just... He sucks balls. We are not a political podcast. We're not a political podcast. No, we're not. We're a highly Damn. opinionated nerd podcast. That, oh, we got other stuff. There's some more TIs if you last. They go, oh, my so, fucking God. Go ahead, go ahead with your story. What's up with um, Dodgeball? That was it. That was it? Oh, okay. Dodgeball 2 possibly coming soon with Vince Vaughn. Maybe Justin Long will come back as well. 
Justin Long has seemed like he's been taking a he's been uh uh keeping a low profile. Justin Long was on F is for fam- God damn Echo. F is for family. No, oh, is it? Okay. He was the oldest son. You would know that if you finished it and read the credits. What's the tea? Oh, okay. So Mattel, one of the largest toy companies in the country. Uh, uh, they, they they own Barbie. They own Monopoly. A bunch of other board games also. Uh, another Monopoly. note. I thought yeah, that was Parker uh, Brothers. Oh, Nerf. They own Nerf too. Uh, and mo- and also notably they own Wizards of the Coast who, is, who you know, they put out Magic the Gathering, uh, Dungeons and Dragons. They Nerf own- is Hasbro, you liar. Are you sure? I just looked nah. it up. I just nah, looked sorry. it up. <laughs> what did it- Mattel own? Hang on a second. Mattel... <laughs> They own some type. Of, if it's not, if it's not Nerf, it's something. Let me see. If, if it's not Nerf, it's nothing. <laughs> good one. Good Hang on a second. They, they definitely Hot Wheels. They got Hot Wheels. Yeah. Okay. okay. Don't know if they're collecting Hot Wheels somewhere. People love Hot Wheels. You know anybody who collect Hot Wheels? I mean, I don't know nobody. I'm sure some people do. Yeah, Hot Wheels. Okay. Anyway. All right, well, long, well, I was getting that. Okay, so yeah, Wizards of the Coast, right? So there was a, a YouTuber who got a er, who got a, uh, a early co- a early release uh, of a new set of Magic the Gathering cards that was sent to him. I'm assuming due to a clerical issue, right? They didn't mean to send it to him. This is on their fault, okay? Their office messed up and sent the thing early to the to the YouTuber, okay? Now. Why is it that they decided that it was a good idea? Bro, sent... I hate you. What? You don't do your research. I do my research. Go on. Hasbro owns Wizard. Not Whatever. Mattel. That's what it was. Okay, so it was Hasbro, not Mattel. Why did I hear Hasbro? Oh, Mattel. It, it doesn't matter. The point is, Wizard of the Coast is the one who screwed up. Why I'm putting in notes. Words matter. Oh, my God. Okay, so yeah, Hasbro... All right, so yeah, there we go. So that's what it was. So do they own Monopoly? Oh my fucking god! Get to the story. Who cares about Monopoly? Nah, now nah, I'm tripping. I was wondering if they own Monopoly. Uh, okay, so um, what was I getting at? Yeah, they do own Monopoly. So I had to flip around. So Samir. Barbie until Monopoly's uh, Samir. Anyways, so th- so Hasbro, thank you for correcting me. Um, they sent uh. <laughs> A privatized militia, uh, privatized mercenary group called the Pinkerton um, Company, founded by some guy named Pinkerton back in like the eighteen hundreds. Apparently, these people were the villains of Red Dead Redemption Two. That's how old this family is. Like they've been dirtbags this long. Okay, so I'm gonna stop you right there. Yeah, you've never heard of the Pinkertons before this. Nope, I didn't play Red Dead Two yet. It's on my list. I didn't play it either, but I've heard of the Pinkertons. I'm okay. Good job. Oh, do you want a cookie? Just finish the story. <laughs> so they, they they get the guy's house armed and rather menacing, and basically threatened legal action if they if he didn't return the cards. And this has started an uproar online because it's like, what the frick has, bro? You know, wizards. I don't know who ordered it. Was it Hasbro or was it Wizards? Like, it know. may not be Wizards' fault directly if their parent company decided to take action, but they just someone screwed up in the, in the Wizards' office, Wizard. so I guess it was a Wizards ordered. Yes. Okay, so they screwed Samir? up. Yeah. You really got to start doing more in depth. Why? I'm, bar- I'm talking about the T. The T don't have to be that accurate. All right, sir? No, Chill out. T- no, it does, because last thing you want to do is get hit with a defamation suit. <laughs> okay. All right. You get a fucking sit. You get to send the Pinkertons to your damn house. I say, yo, Bernard said it. This is his address. Nigga, you don't know my address. I know your address. What's my address? I'll bleep it out. I'm not saying that on the podcast. I'll bleep it out. No, I'm not saying that. I don't want you doing more work. You want to complain about how much editing you got? Oh, because you don't know my address. You know what, sir? Cap. Uh huh. You gonna okay. finish the story? Uh, that's it. The guy got the guy got shook down for some Magic the Gathering cards from a from a, a hundred and fifty year old uh, mercenary group. <laughs> it sounds cool when I say it that way. 
they're security farm too. Bro, my guy. Okay. They're These, not this, mercenaries. So listen, listen, listen though. The US government has an amendment that you cannot work with this company if you work in the United States government. They don't want nothing to do with these people. And they wrote that back in the day. Like one of the old founding fathers said, yo, uh-uh, not these people. And that is still a rule to this day. You cannot work with this company and the U.S. government. You cannot be affiliated in any way. The U.S. government, they do not get government contracts, this company. Do you know why? Why? Because of private companies. See, God, why I got to always save your ass with your stories? Why you say no? Go, go, go do the back and forth. What you got to say? All right. So they were actually involved in strike breaking in the early 1800s. Yeah, union busting. Yes. Yeah. So they're known for that. Yeah, the thugs. Yeah, they passed the Anti Pinkerton Act in 1893. Uh huh. So, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy, right? Individual employed by the Pinkerton Detective Agency or similar organization may not be employed by the government of the United States or the government of the District of Columbia. All right, I just got to state one thing for again. Guys, I'm not having a stroke. There's just an echo in my ear, okay? So I'm slurring a lot because it's delayed in my headphones. I mean, that's a weird reaction to that, but uh, I hope you're okay, Bernard. Shut up. No, it's like words with multiple syllables. It, it keeps It's messing me up. Like, you ain't hear me pinker. Ten. I mean, he sounded like Simple Jack in this bitch. Please, please help, help, help me. I got a good brain. Yeah. All right, we got to sign. Sign, go get us canceled. Chill out. Okay. I think uh, it's coming for you. Yeah, there's two people yeah, on this podcast. Gonna, <laughs> they going to come kicking out the door next week. All right. You All got right, any more on your Pinkertons? No, nah, that's it. It's, this is a crazy story. Okay. All right. So, we actually talked about this a while ago. So, Batman the Cape Crusader has yes. been removed from HBO Max and it will be airing on Amazon. That damn so delay. weird. It's like, why is... I mean, I don't understand. Are they, they license it out, I guess. But yes. it's just weird that Warner Brothers properties aren't going to be on... Samir? Yeah. Marvel doesn't do Disney comics. IDW does. Should happen sometimes. Yeah. Gotham was on Fox. Lois <clears throat> and Clark was on ABC. Well, okay, Lois and Clark was back in the day, though. Okay. I'm just saying, Warner Brothers. And the WB recent- was around when Lois and Clark was on. Yeah, Lucifer recent- was on Fox. Recently, with the with the resurgence of superhero media and how they consolidated all their properties, you would think Warner Brothers would follow suit and get all, all their properties mostly under one roof. Yeah, sounds good. But yeah, so there's actually going to be a animated film called Merry Little Batman and a spinoff series called Bat Family. So yeah. So they actually released a uh, press release that said we're, we are excited to partner with Amazon to begin an all new animated chapter of Batman from the cinematic noir storytelling of Batman Craig Crusader to the comedic adventures of Merry Little Batman and Bat Family. These new projects ensure that there would be an animated Batman story ready to excite fans of all ages, said Sam Register who is the president of Warner Brothers Animation and Cartoon Network. I'm going to watch Batman Cape Crusader. Oh, this fucking echo is fucking me up. Batman Cape Crusader. The more you talk about it, the more it gets worse. Just try to ignore it. Yeah, but, bro, I sound like I'm drunk. I can hear it. Well, some people get have just, just tons of drunk podcasts. We're not one of those. No, we're not. I, you I, don't I'm, drink. I don't drink. I'm going to drink on episode 150. You can. Didn't you, you, know, you drank on episode 5 you had a uh, hard uh, Mountain Dew. Yeah, that was to uh, review it. Oh, that's right, because that, it recently came out. Yeah. yeah that's still, that's still last year. Yeah. They just released a new flavor. 
It sucks because it's all zero sugar. It's, I mean, it's good because you don't need all that sugar and alcohol. Give me a little bit, not zero. What you got, man? You you start right. stupid. Sorry, no. Okay, so this is this is actually this is breaking news. All right, I just came across this um this particular uh, oh, piece of information on Sunday. Okay, so uh, so you might not know this film, um, but this, this cast is so strange. So this film called Becky came out in 2020, um, June 5th, 2020. Came out a limited release, right? Very low key movie. The cast: uh, Kevin James, Joe McHale, and introducing uh, Lulu Wilson as Becky, and basically. Um, Joel McHale uh, plays father to Lulu uh, Wilson's Becky, right? His name's Jeff and Jeff. That's not consequent. It's inconsequential, right? Kevin James plays a neo-Nazi escaped convict, right? No, Kevin James. And, yeah, Kevin Paul James. Clark? Yes. <laughs> okay, Doug so basically, yes, from King of Queens. Anyways, so. Uh, basically, home invasion. Him and his Nazi boys go in there, and basically they terrorize uh, Becky, her dad, um, her stepmom, and uh, her stepbrother. So, the, the the basically the film comes to a head when Becky, who is a rather they they she, she, she's alluded to being a bit of a sociopath herself as a, a small child, and she basically takes it upon herself to like, yo, I ain't taking this garbage, and she kind of just picks off the. Uh, uh, Neo Nazis one by one, right? Uh, very, very. Uh, I think the film missed its march, uh, Matt, uh, mark. It wasn't as good as it could have been. I think oh, where you they going didn't with get. This? Hang on, I'm getting. I'm getting to. It, I'm getting to. It. Okay, so they didn't really. This is a retro act, retrospective review. I guess it kind of it turned into that. Anyways, the the film kind of made a mistake of not really emphasizing what made Becky stand out prior to the events. So you didn't really believe what, what the things were going on. And I don't think they gave enough of, they didn't give Kevin James enough to work with. He kind of just scowled the whole film, you know? Anyways, long story short, everyone died except Becky and her stepmom and I think the, the step, stepbrother. Joe McHale's character did not make it. Uh, anyways, uh, fast forward to 2023. Uh, and they uh, apparently were getting a Wrath of Becky coming to uh, uh, theaters, limited release, I'm assuming. Uh, in uh, May, hang on. Is it May 20, 26, May 26? I was gonna uh, this say year. 26, dude. Yeah, this year. Uh, okay, so cast includes Lulu Wilson, Sean William Scott, <laughs> um, Denise Burris. I don't like uh, how you just said that, like Sean William Scott ain't out here work or. I haven't seen Sean Scott in a while. That's more on me than it is okay. him. Yeah, all right. It's you and Loco. Shout out to Loco. Sean William Scott has a show on Fox. Um, who watches Fox anymore? I do. I watch The Simpsons. Uh, and people watch 911. And 911 Lone Star. Reno 911? That's on Fox and not Comedy Central? Oh my fucking god, god damn it, motherfucker, fuck, bitch. No. 911 is a drama show. Oh. Angela Bassett's on it, you idiot. Oh. Well, I mean, are cop dramas even popular anymore? Bro, there's a Chicago Med, Chicago PD, Chicago Fire. Yeah, but those, those, those shows kind of drip conservative. Anyway, what was I going to say? Um, oh, God. Anyway, I don't know a lot of these uh, actors. Jill Larson, uh, Courtney Gaines, um, Michael Ciro. But uh, it's just it surprised me that this got a sequel. And I'm curious to see what's going to happen with this. I'm going to actually watch this. Um, but yeah, two years after the, she escaped the attack, a violent attack on her family. Becky attempts to rebuild her life in the care of, of an older woman, older woman, a kindred spirit named Elena. Uh, but when a group known as the Noble Men break into their home, attack them, take their beloved dog Diego, uh, Becky must return to her old ways to protect herself and her loved ones. I hopefully, it's, hopefully, sounds like it, John Wick. Hopefully, it sticks the landing better than the first one, and it might be really good. You took my dog. Now I must take your life. Yeah, I mean we got Sisu coming out. Um, Sisu and Mayabar got released. They go. What's the reviews on Sisu? What? Sisu. What the hell is that? Are you haven't seen? Okay, so 
narratively leans narrative lean as okay hang on so it's a narratively lean action flick it doesn't have much going on to it but basically during the desperate last days of ww2 uh, a solitary prospector crosses paths with Nazis on a scorched earth retreat in northern Finland. Uh, when the Nazis steal his gold, they quickly discover that they just tangled with no ordinary miner. And while there is no direct translation for the Finnish word Sisu, this legendary ex commando will embody, embody what Sisu means a white knuckle form of courage and unimaginable determination in the face of overwhelming odds. So basically, he's just going to wreck a bunch of Nazis. And the trailer is nuts. I actually want to see this one. It came out, oh, actually today. It's out now, fool. Yeah, it came out tomorrow. Yeah. Well, it might be out to now, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, actually, that seems pretty dope. I might try to squeeze that in this weekend, possibly. I don't know. It's bad time. Watch a movie and finish. I mean, I'm not afraid of scare of subtitles. How about you, Bernard? Do you not like subtitles? You know I don't, so I don't know why you're trying to put me on blast. Yeah. I've been saying that for the past three years. Bernard don't watch shit with subtitles. <sighs> That's like saying a grown man, I don't like to eat vegetables. I want chicken nuggies. That's what you sound like. All right, next story. Eat a dick. I Gladly. It's 2023. What is wrong with you? Oh, wait. I was going to put a record scratching sound effect, but no, some, no, sound, no, no more sound effects. All right. So, I'm going to save all this CinemaCon news for next week. Yeah. Because we're okay. also supposed to be getting a trailer for uh, Twisted Metal. Oh, my God. Yeah, I want to see how that's going to look. It's going to be dumb. Uh, do you want to get to our review of um, Evil Dead? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. Uh, uh, okay, so sorry, about. folks. We're kind of on a tight schedule tonight because Bernard has to get back out of town. He has a wedding to get to, and I don't want to hold him up any longer. He has already has. Okay, so, let's, so uh, I'm going to call a timeout, audible, flag on the play, and all that stuff. You know, for someone who uh, don't like to talk about their personal life on the pod, you sure as hell like to talk about mine. That's not true at all. Hey, Bernard, what you do this week, this past weekend? Oh yeah, I don't do that. You just did it, like 20 minutes ago. You bought, you bought the concert. No, I didn't. Yeah, then when they would lose their shit. At the concert I went to this past weekend. Oh, they, they, how'd that go? We're not and we're not a music podcast, but we'll go ahead and divert to Bernard's right, we weekend. We talk about music every now and then. Uh. So yeah, guys, I actually did bring up the concert. So my bad. I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you didn't. bought the concert, my guy. I'm pretty sure you bought the concert unprompted. Mm. I think you asked me how was the concert. And so I kind of had no choice but to talk about it. Nah, son. Because I was getting ready to go into my next story, and then you was like, that wasn't a story? No, that was more of a rant, but okay, you can Anyways, um, right, do you want to start the uh, review of uh, Evil Dead Rise? Yeah. I'm actually okay. getting ready to pull up the info. Then I had to call out that article. All right. <sighs> so... Evil Dead Rise, directed by Lee Cronin, produced by Sam Raimi and Bruce Campbell. And this film stars Maribel Pease, Richard Crouchley, Anna Marie Thomas, Lily Sullivan, Alyssa Sutherland, Gabrielle Echols, Nell Fisher, Morgan Davies. All right, synopsis, a twisted tale of two estranged Two estranged sisters whose reunion is cut short by the rise of flesh possession, flesh possession demons, thrusting them in into a primal battle for survival as they face the most nightmarish version of family imaginable. I'm sorry, guys. This this damn echo is fucking me up. All right. So, pretty much everyone in this cast is Australian. Okay. I mean, that, okay. No, I no issues with it. I was just like, didn't expect that. I mean, I guess. Hmm. All right, let's get into it. <sighs> Thoughts? Okay, uh, I have virtually nothing negative to say about this film. 
Same. You are so, to you. Yeah. So, um, oh boy. So I gotta say the one of the best title cards in the film I've seen in a while. I mean that title card, it it just it it just oozed style. Yeah. So I really didn't have any issues with this movie. Besides the casting of Danny. Danny. The son? Oh, what was your issue with him? So, I'm going to sound very toxic, and guess what? I don't care. You should, but go on. The kid who plays Danny is trans. Wow. Okay. I didn't know. (laughs) That's called research. Do it. I don't see. So, was the character trans or was was just the actor trans? Just the actor. Okay, so again, uh, Morgan Davies. Yes. Um, yeah, he did a good job. He, he I, it's just a double standard. Uh, is it though? He, he did. He, he walked in. He, he, he I'm assuming he, he auditioned. He got a role as the son of the uh, of um, of um, uh, Alicia Sutherland's uh, Ellie. So, Ellie. what's the issue? I just don't like the double standard of... What's the double terms. standard, though? The double standard is you have Eddie Redman play a trans person in whatever the hell that movie was. The, the Danish trans girl. Commu- yes, thank you. The trans community calls goes in a tune-up roar. So, the thing with the... That's a weird stance for the... I don't, I'm don't. i not taking a stance. I'm not taking a side on this, but the issue with the Danish girl was it was about a historical figure who tried to transition... This is back before transitioning was smoother than it is now. And because uh, I, I don't know how difficult it is. I don't have that point of reference. I didn't want to just say how smooth it was. But, so air quotes. But it's like. I can see you, Samir. Yeah, I know. Uh, so the so the, uh, she didn't survive the transition operation. It kills her. Okay. So there also wasn't uh, HRT back then. The hormone therapy they had was probably minimal, if non-existent at all. And I think Eddie Redmayne might have been a good choice to play that uh, role. I don't know. It, 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 I saw the movie. It was good. They like to the trans community. They hated it. Right. But I don't know if that... I'm not sure if that stance is as is, is a good take, but it still brought awareness. You know? Um, right. So, anyways, uh, Morgan Davies... Um, I, I think you did a good job, and I have no problem with uh, the cast. No, like I said, that was my only issue, was the casting. The, the, Morgan did a good job. It was just, uh, I just couldn't help but thinking about my I don't head. know. I would be careful with that take, Bernard. Just saying, I'm not trying to get our podcast canceled. Man, we ain't going to get canceled, because according to you, we only got like 12 viewers. <laughs> we got more listeners. Oh, now you care about the listeners. I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah. See last week and the week before and the week before that and text messages and everything else. So yeah, I love the movie. Yeah. Um I like so the cameo love- from Bruce Campbell as well. Uh, didn't catch that, did you? Was he the homeless guy in the whole alley? Nope. Uh oh, he must have been in the bar and in, in the initial nope. opening of the film. Uh um, where was it? Remember when Danny's dumbass is playing the records? Yes. It's called the Book of the Dead for a reason. Oh, it's, you only hear his voice because okay. it's that, basically that, that's pretty a cameo. It counts as a cameo. He's in the credits. Yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah. Okay. So. I love the use of practical blood in this film. Um, yeah, as opposed well, to what the fuck did we just review last week? Uh, Renfield. Yeah, Renfield had a lot yeah. of uh, CGI. Yeah, no. This one, they use practical blood. They use a full uh, metric cubic ton of blood in that film. I don't want to spoil the... Uh, are we doing a spoiler review? Is this a spoiler review? It's been out for a week, so yes. Okay, yeah. So the elevator, a full elevator of blood, that was spectacular. It was nuts. Um, 
the practical core, like, and this movie did not care. The, it, it, everyone got that got got that business. I'm like, a Even lot a of a lot kid. Of, right. A lot of horror movies don't like to kill small children. Uh, that wasn't with this one, yo. They, I mean, the only downside we didn't see it. His arms got. He was. Yeah, that's so all we dead. saw, but we didn't see him die. We just saw him get yeeted across the um hallway and was missing an arm. And then the other kid choked on the eyeball. That was like a damn a young adult. He was in his teens. Nah, probably nineteen. You know what death surprised me though? Um, yeah, because I didn't think um, Bridget Our would kids uh, were gonna die. Yeah, I didn't think Bridget was gonna die. Yeah. Yeah, that I was, was I was ball. I was rooting for Bridget, but uh, yeah, she. Uh, I was like, Danny need to go. Danny it didn't mean Danny okay. Need, no, so. This movie couldn't be made if it was black people. So Here's the problem. Starters, if a book with teeth cuts my hand, absorbs the blood, and opens up, mm, no, I'm, not, I'm out. I'm out. So, not even just that. So, for starters, black people, we don't rock with natural disasters. We actually listen to people when, you know, they say, oh, put right. up the shutters Boy. and everything when there's a hurricane. So, check, check. if the earthquake opens a hole in the ground, you think a black person going to say, oh, hey, let, there, let me see what's down there. Do, 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 do. Yeah, oh, look, forget the, a, shifting, the shifting Oh, rubble, God, this right? giant wooden Jesus almost hit me. No. We don't do yeah, that. The, the sh- let alone how the, how, how the structural integrity of that cavern is like, why, though? You could have died. Exactly. That, that's, that, that, that alone, let alone the... the he evil, deserved but, to die. Yeah, the skin, the, the b- bounded skin... Pages of flesh, written in blood, and there's teeth on the side. I'm like, that book needs to stay there, sir. Oh, yeah, and the bugs. Don't forget that. Yeah. Shoot. Bev should have slapped him when, you know, they figured out what was what. I mean, it's no point abusing the child, that they, even though they killed the whole family. <laughs> and, the, and, the, and the remaining, yo, can we talk about baby girl at the end? Like, she slept through the whole... <laughs> Yeah, that's the one thing that made me mad. <laughs> she sucked, and she wasn't even involved. She, poor child just walked out. No, no, she nothing. deserved that. She deserved to get possessed. Why? Oh my god, all the thunder! It, it, I can barely sleep. The th- dude, it's like it wasn't her fault that there was thundering and 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 she, gunshots and screams and bloody murder. She didn't hear that. She lived on the same floor. It was the same. Yeah, you're right. It was the same. floor. Nah, nah, she might have been on a different floor. What floor? No, was she, she was on the same floor. Fifth floor. She was on the fifth. That all, mm. How does she not hear anything? Because <laughs> shotguns are loud. Yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, again, I have. And people screaming in the hallway. Yeah, but he got his, his eye bit out. Anyways, I have nothing but praise to sing this movie. I will say this I don't know what I like more, this or Evil Dead 2013. You can just say Evil Dead. No, because it could be nope. uh, Evil Dead, what? The first one? It's The Evil Dead. Mm, anyways. Uh, yeah, Evil Dead 2013. I'm going to keep saying it. You son of a uh, bitch. So, there are three Nepro- Goddamn Echo. Necronomicons. Yeah, they talked about that. So, are they foreshadowing a... a, a are they foreshadowing uh, like a universe? Another one in nine years? Maybe. Or maybe it was referenced in Ash versus Evil Dead. I really got to finish It's that. funny how... Okay. It's funny how the consensus can change about... So, how would you, you, how much do you remember the Evil Dead, the last Evil Dead? I haven't watched it in a minute. Okay, I watched it a few years ago. It holds up. It's I, I still love it. It's that on movie. the shelf. It's probably right, right. there that red one you see. So here's the yeah, thing. It here's the thing. So it's a, it may lack you see that the red, ab- red one, like yeah. right there by my. It finger. may lack the absurd humor that underlined the original, but the new look- no, the humor that underlined the second, the Evil Dead oh, the f- was not the first one was Correct. legit horror. The, the first one was the second tricky. one was a soft reboot that added comedy. Yeah, it did. Anyways, but the new look, Evil Dead, compensates with the brutal terror, gory scares, and gleeful, bloody violence. So they gave it a 63, 
which is, in my opinion, is a bit low. Um, I keep trying to stop listening to fucking credits, but you don't listen to me. Goddamn yeah, but the audience gave it a 64 also. Like, they they both agreed. So, whatever. So, yeah, what would you give it out of 100? I would, gi- I would give it at least an 80. Exactly. 85. Exactly. Anyways. I don't even look at motherfuckers' reviews or, um, like, random Joe Schmoes on Rotten Tomatoes. I don't look at this shit. I digress. Discernment. I digress. I digress. It's like, here's the thing. It, it, okay, so now that I think about it, this the new one is better than this than the old one, but not by much. I think um, uh, the new I'm one a, was uh, basically a rehash of the first one. Alyssa Sutherland did such a good job at what she was just—you can tell she was just living. She was reveling in that role. So I don't think the I don't think the um, the, uh, the other lead. What was her name? Um, Lily Sullivan. No, yeah. but no the. Um, the main actress of the of the thirteenth, uh, twenty thirteen. Oh, Jane um, Jane Levy, Jane Levy. Yeah, I don't think Jane Levy did a bad job. She did a great job as the main possessee in that two one. Two different directors, dude. But yeah, two different directors. Yeah, oh, the, the shots in this one, the shot composition and the director, director, the the, the the cinematography was really good in this one, actually. So that also maybe a little bit why this movie is a little superior, but not by, again, not by much. I don't think. Did you ever see a movie called The Hole in the Ground? Yes. Lee Cronin directed that. that he wrote good. it. Yeah, that's good. Anyways, uh, okay, uh, final score. It's a 10. I also agree. It's a 10.0. So, um, yeah, nothing really bad, like I said casting but that's just me nitpicking yeah all right so uh we're gonna wrap it yeah yeah guys. short episode this week guys sorry yeah because like it's a slow week but all the news coming out of cinema con i would rather just get all that done and one day where i'm not having a fucking echo in my headphones yeah we'll we'll, we'll get the um is that what the, is that like we'll have we'll have us all the uh technical effect, uh, issues later. But yeah, um, anyways, let's, let's do the outro. That's why fucking noise cancellation is on. Oh, well, great. Okay, so yeah, yeah this is Samir, the king in bitch, black. Bitch, I go first. What the fuck wrong Yeah, with you? you wouldn't go first. I was. I gave you the floor. This is Bernard, a.k.a. the Scarlet Spider. All right, join us next time. Same blurred channel, same blurred network. Yeah, guys, join us next week's Oh my god, I fixed it. <laughs> Join us next week. Same blur tribe. Say, what, what the fuck am I doing? So, I don't know what you're doing. You're still in my line. <laughs> what did you say when I turned it off? Because the headphones so, were on. Yeah, jo- yeah, I said same blur channel, same blur network. I oh yeah, thank you. Shit, I couldn't hear it. Be sure to rate, review, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. I mean, how the hell I do this for 57 minutes and don't even see the light that was on right there? I'm tripping. Yeah, I don't know. All right, y'all. Peace. Wait. Be classy. Wait. Um, any movies come out? Why are you trying to cut off so fast, bitch? I'm already past my, my bedtime because you had me waiting. But no, are there any movies coming it's out? It's not 1030 yet. Uh, yeah, we got, movies co- we got movies coming out. We'll figure it out. Like, yeah, well, yeah. I don't know what the hell's coming out. Yeah, we'll uh, Bo is Afraid. We got we to gotta review that. I ain't watching that shit. <laughs> Stop being a bitch. We're watching it. I'm not being a bitch. I just don't have any interest in the movie. It's it's getting such good. It's it's okay, amazing Samir. Movie. We don't review every movie that's fresh out there. It's an A twenty four horror movie. We do, it's Ari Aster. Okay, I don't even know. These, these that movies is. are good. The, the, everyone is just is jocking A twenty four right now because of how uh, their master classes in mo- every film they do. Okay, so Samir. we need to review it. All right, you can review. I, it. I review. I review Renfield because I wasn't planning to see that movie. You need to review that movie. You need this movie. I had to Bro. sit through Renfield. You can sit through this. No, I can't because the way my money is set up, I'm broke. You won't be broke when it comes when you go watch it. When you come back in time, you fine. Uh, I get paid on Friday. I still have to buy gas. I also have bills coming out. So. Oh, look, Parker Posey. All right. Anyways, uh, let's uh, let's, let's uh, let Bernard deal with his woes. And uh, you guys uh, have a great weekend. I'd rather and, watch uh, Are You There, God, is me, Margaret. Um, psh, Judy oh, 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 Bloom oh, oh, oh. all day. I must, I must, I must increase my bust. All right, guys. See ya.